Hi everybody, it is December 15, 2017. I posted this video last night a call for UN peacekeepers to quell gun violence in Chicago. Now, my memory is really failing me because I'm, I think I'm pretty good at kind of connecting the dots, but fortunately I've got subscribers at my back connecting the dots and I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this video, Strong Cities Network Globalizing American Police, Chris Ann Hall. Please watch this and please circulate it. Strong Cities Network. I think it's easy for us to think that whatever happened during the Obama years, it's over now. Trump is in office. I've, I received comments below my video. Trump will never let this happen. Really. Okay, I really hope that people start thinking about their psyche. This idea that Trump is going to fix it. If you don't have the psyche that you're going to fix it, then you're behind the eight ball. It's you that won't let it happen. You, you, all of you in your own communities, you got to get out there and make sure that this does not happen anywhere in this country. I want to bring your attention to a summit meeting in Chicago on climate change. Mayors from around the world met in Chicago just a couple of days ago and 386 mayors, U.S. mayors, mayors of cities all over the country have signed on to adopt, honor, and uphold the Paris Climate Agreement goals. So what does that mean? It means that it's not just Jerry Brown who, well, he just left Paris for that climate change summit. You see, these meetings are happening all over the world. They're implementing it anyway. So Trump, as far as these mayors are concerned, as far as governors are concerned, like Jerry Brown, is irrelevant. They're going along with the Paris Climate Agreement, which means that it's not just Californians who are already being impacted by their fabulous Jerry Brown moonbeam, psychopathic, crazy nut job. All of the legislation rules and regulations that California has already passed, but they're going to be passing more, and I will be posting a video. What I want to tell you, stop, stop thinking Trump is going to fix everything. Please, you need to. Click on the link below and find out if your city, if your mayor has signed on to the Paris Climate Change Accord? And if so, well, I have posted many videos that people really need to be post, uh, paying a careful, careful attention to what is happening in California. That they should have, you know, been subscribed to Grind All 61, where he is showing everybody what is taking place in his area of California, they ramming Agenda 2030 down the throats of those who live in his area, but it's going on all over California. And what is happening in California is coming to everyone. So when I'm scrolling down, you got Los Angeles and Boston and New York City and Houston and Knoxville and Chicago and Seattle, and you've got... Um, Albany, New York, and Albany, California, and Albany, Oregon. But then you have smaller towns, and ah, uh, you have Anderson, South Carolina, right here where I am. Mayor Terrence Roberts. Now, I understand that Anderson is absolutely, it's part of the mega regions. I hope that you all understand what I am talking about. If you don't understand it, put in a search bar, 
any search engine, America 2050, and you will come upon a website. It will show you the mega regions ra uh, map. There's 11 mega regions in the United States. This is a United Nations reshaping of the United States. No more states will be in the United States. We will just have mega regions. So my mega region is Piedmont something. I can't remember. But Anderson, South Carolina, rat smack in that mega region. Was it a surprise to see Terrence Roberts sign on to the Paris Climate Change Court? No, it wasn't. Because I know that all of these places that have uh, those working on implementing Agenda 2030, well, they need climate change. They need people in those mega regions to believe that climate change is a major, major, oh my God, look at the fires out in California. Jerry Brown saying that this is caused by climate change. Really? Okay. They need people to believe that so that they can ram through their state legislatures, legislation, laws, rules, regulations that will impact every resident in those areas in a very painful way. I'm going to be posting a video on what is happening in California with their rules and regulations. But now these agendas are accelerating very quickly. So if you don't know what the strong cities uh, network, the global police force that Loretta, Loretta Lynch signed onto, along with Obama, United Nations, please don't just think Trump will never let this happen. And also, don't take lightly what mainstream media is reporting. I do not believe that this commissioner went rogue and just said, we need the United Nations peacekeepers. They don't come out and say these things. Mainstream media does not give it attention unless it's important and unless somebody behind the commissioner said, we need you to get out there and say this. Now, it could be the social engineering of the American people to get them to, you know, okay, gun violence, it's out of control in America. Maybe we do need the United Nations peacekeeper, peacekeepers here. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but if you don't do anything in your community, it will eventually take place because this is a United Nations takeover. The New World Order, it ain't a conspiracy theory. It is a conspiracy fact, and it has been going on for a long time, implemented. People really working very diligently to get this New World Order in place. So. Don't think that everything that Obama did for the eight years that he was in office with Trump in office, it's all erased. No, don't go there. And regardless of what anybody thinks about Trump, it's not about Trump. It's about you you changing, you getting active in your own community, you finding out what is happening in your own community, you coming over here to see if your mayor signed on to the climate change um, accord, Paris accord, and if so, you can guarantee that in your own city you're going to be having Jerry Brown-like people implementing Agenda 2030 
and all of these climate change rules and regulations. You sit back and think Trump is going to stop this? Well, sorry to say, you're going to be screwed. <laughs>